it was like it happened in slow motion. Tanaka Sensei was at her desk shuffling through papers, and little Takeshi had this evil smile come across his face, and he put his little fingers together and made a steeple. I knew what was going to happen next, and I tried to stop it, but it was too late. He took his little fingers and he shoved them up to Nakasensei's butt. <laughs> up the butt went the Uniqlo slacks. Up the butt, the little fingers. Up the butt, as much of his fist as he could get before she turned around and whapped him on the head. This was the first time I had actually seen a concho. In Japan, young elementary school boys have this game that they love to play, where that's exactly what they do, is they shove their little fingers up someone's butt, and they think it's hilarious. It, it, was it had always completely baffled me when I was a teacher there in Japan, um, because it seems like the kind of game where everyone loses. <laughs> I mean, the teacher loses because he or she is getting, you know, sexually assaulted. And the kid loses because suddenly he, it's, you know, he's the guy who likes to get his fingers up an old person's butt. But before that time, I had heard of it, but I, it, it was like it was, you know, the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot or something like that. Just this urban legend that couldn't possibly be right. But after I saw that, after that moment, I realized, this shit is for real. <laughs> and at the school, in the teacher's room, the teachers would work such long hours, you know, until seven o'clock at night, eight o'clock at night, making their lessons plans and developing syllabus and things like that. I was there that late. But I had a different thing I was doing. I was figuring out how not to get conscious. <laughs> I was drawing diagrams and making strategic plans, everything like that. And I settled on three essential rules to avoid the concho. Rule number one, never forget. Your ass, or at least your butthole, is literally on the line at all times. Rule number two, perfect the wall walk, where your ass is against the wall at all times. Rule number three, if the wall walk cannot be done, get low. You'll have advanced warning. And this strategy was going pretty good. I was going to all these different schools, and... I was just kind of shuffling between classes, so I rarely got to know any students, but at this one elementary school I went to, there was this one guy, little, little Kintaro, and for lack of a better word, it seemed like he was always probing. I would go to, I would go to the school and he would always sort of look, trying to find an opening but he never did. And about half, and it was going great. Halfway through the year, though, I kind of passed him in the hallway between classes, and he would just, we had this game where he would say something to me in gibberish words that sounded English to him, so like, blah, 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 blah. And I would say something in gibberish that sounded Japanese to me, like, shaba daba duwa. <laughs> or maybe, you know, duwa. I don't know. They're similar. And... Then he, he kind of motioned for me to come over, and it looked like his friend on his, uh, on his left side had something he wanted to give me. He reached into his backpack, and I came over. And as I did, rule number three, got low. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw a third kid trying to sneak up behind me. And in a graceful move that would not be out of place in a ballet company. I pirouetted, turned around, and slapped my ass against the wall. This was the triple conspiracy double diversion concho. This is what Sun Tzu or 
General Patton would have done had they wanted to stick their fingers up someone's buckle. And I had beaten it. I raised my hands and shouted out, Senendo Namida! A thousand years of crying. If, if you come to first-person artist events often, and uh, you should, uh, you'll, you'll probably know that a lot of people who do story slams are teachers, and they'll often have stories about how they have made changes or affected someone's life and how that's a high point. But for me, <laughs> this was my greatest moment teaching because I was a really shitty teacher. Thanks.